So I'm going to model this. Aaron, come right here. <clears throat> Leslie, come over here. You're going to pick someone who's going to share. And you have two people who are supporting. Okay, these are my supports. I'm going to be the person sharing. And you can start like this. Now, some of you are used to, to mats and we probably could go ahead for those of you who've already done a few rounds. Don't You don't have to do this. You don't have to do chairs, but not everybody's there yet. So I'm going to let you all who've just done this for the who this is your first time and some of you who this is your second time, if you choose to do chairs, do chairs. But I noticed in there is like um, bunk beds, mm -hmm. bunk bed. some nice mattresses. Mm -hmm. So usually I just put you on the floor, <laughs> put you on the yoga mat. Yeah. Yeah. But go ahead, go ahead and grab a mattress. And, and be be comfortable, but you can start out. You can start out in a chair. Don't don't offer don't offer Kleenex to the person who's sharing because it's a cognitive distraction. Mm -hmm. It distracts them. So the snot, you know, starts to blow your nose. Please, <laughs> nobody will see all. <laughs> um, so you guys pull you know, a little closer. They're gonna, they're gonna tell me, I can accept your feelings. I can accept your feelings. I can accept your feelings. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. No gum. I know. <laughs> gum keeps you in your head, right? No gum. Give Aaron some. Did you just want to swallow it? Those are all the Aaron's. <laughs> Well, I'm getting some leg touch right now. I like that because it makes me it makes me feel um, connected. If we're if we're on a mat, and I actually I need to model that too. Um, we'll do that later. When I ask, "Are you sure you can accept my feelings?" That's authentic. Because a lot of times we've grown up not having our feelings accepted. Feelings are scary. Sharing feelings are scary, especially if you've not grown up where people have wanted your feelings. So I want you to make the statement, are you sure you can accept my feelings? I'm not even asking for them. I'm asking for me. And I might need to ask for them because maybe they can't. What if you say, I'm not sure I can. That's good. See, that's not bad. That's good because now let's process a little bit. What does that mean? We have a little process. But once they tell me they can accept my feelings and I, I ask them if they're sure, then here's, here's what I want you to do. I want you to find, I want you to Identify an emotional story, any story. doesn't matter where you start because it's almost never where you end up. I want you to, to imagine an emotional story. And I want you to tell the story. And as you're telling the story, I want you to breathe in. And I want you to try to connect to the emotion of the story. Okay, so you're telling the story. Time on me. Okay. Yeah, set it for ten minutes because this is this is about how long y'all are gonna do. So I like to just m measure it. Um, let me have you guys scoot a little closer on the side and put your hands on the shoulders. I was gonna ask if they okay if I touch you. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Don't rub though. Just touch. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Let me think of the story. You can be thinking of a story right now. How far deep you have far how far back do you want me to go? Back. You want a current story or you want an old story? An old story? Old, please. An old story. One of the first times, one of the first times I I remember feeling feeling panic. Is we had went to a fair in a, a, a
county fair. And see, as soon as I start talking about this, I, it ties me into something else. We went to a, a county fair in this town called Anadarko. And it was dark. And we were going back to the car. And I got separated from my mom and dad. And I panicked. And something else had happened earlier, earlier that day, earlier that evening, my cousin was taking us to a movie. And we were, we were like, me and my sister, we were like little country kids. And this was a bigger town, and there's a lot of there's a lot of older kids there, and they were rowdy. And my cousin was from this little town, and we went to this movie, and it was so rowdy, it was it was scary. It was scary. So I think that that's that's the first part of that day when I started to get really stressed and overwhelmed because I'd probably never been to a movie without my parents before, and I not I was not used to being around kids that that were. Um, that that were that loud and so I was scared and then later on when we were going to the car I remember getting separated I remember getting separated from my parents and I was like I just had this moment of panic it's like it, between these two cars and it was dark and I was Man, I just, I kind of just bolted. I was like, where, where are they? And that was a very, that was a very um, definitive moment for me. But it reminded me when I was in the third grade, I used to box. I used to go to, go to boxing practice and everything. And I always wanted to be like Muhammad Ali. So I got in this little boxing boys club and, I really wanted to do it, but it was really stressful. I would get so anxious, and I didn't even know, I didn't know what anxiety was. But I get, I just, it was just, it was an, always an unsettled feeling. And I would go to, I'd go to practice, and we'd do a little practice, and they'd take us out in the country, and they'd make us run. And it wasn't even that I couldn't run, it's just that I would get so anxious, I didn't even know what that anxiety was. I just, it would it would just it would just come up on me, and I remember when I first started having my first boxing matches, I used to have to fight the same kid at every it's like every weekend I'd have to fight the same kid, this little Mexican kid, and I'd want to I'd want to actually box, but he would come out he'd just be swinging, and then I would just start swinging, and we would just swing for. For three rounds straight, we would just swing, swing, swing. And I would, he would beat me. And he beat me like three times in a row. And I finally decided, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna swing. And so I came out and I was dancing around and I would bang, bang, bang. And it was completely different than what he, what he was used to. I did that for the first round. I think I maybe did it for the second round. And then the third round, I just, this anxiety came over me again. And I just started swinging. And he just he beat me again. And I remember as going into a match once, I could feel that anxiety come up on me. I mean, it would just make me feel nauseous. Just make me feel nauseous. I was so scared as a kid. Nightmares. <laughs> 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 
sometimes it, sometimes I just make it up because I was just scared to be in my room. <laughs> I'd be so freaked out sometimes I could run my room and so scared. I just I in the house and there's this long hole. It gets my mom and dad's room and Someone was chasing me. God, I'm so scared. I remember one boxing match. I don't know what happened. I just decided I, I'm not going to be scared. I'm going to beat this kid's ass. I whipped his ass. And he cried like a baby. And after that, I, I I just started winning all the time. I stopped being scared. We got a minute 45 left. Oh, perfect. So after you finish your story, I just want you to sit quietly and just be with that for a moment. You don't have to talk about it. You don't have to talk about it. Just be with it. And, and I've been doing this emotional work for 20 years, so I'm much more emotionally flexible. I want you all to become more emotionally flexible. Well, how do you get more emotionally flexible? You exercise your emotions, right? I hadn't thought about that. I hadn't thought about that experience, that memory in years, years. And it's such, it's such a tender part of, of who I was as a child, living with anxiety and living with fear and not knowing it and parents that didn't know it. It was that was a very a very meaningful moment in my life. So thank you. <laughs>